now let's discuss about the factors affecting the enzyme activity before starting this you need to remember one thing that enzyme activity is totally dependent on the contact between enzyme and substrate to form enzyme substrate uh, complex that means formation of enzyme substrate complex is the most essential prerequisite for the enzyme activity there are various factors which affect the enzyme activity like temperature ph then various activators concentration of substrate enzyme concentration radiation product concentration so all these are the factors which affect the enzyme activity now let's discuss one by one all these factors first factor we will discuss it is the concentration of enzyme now it is observed that as the concentration of enzyme increased the velocity of the reaction proportionately increases that means the enzyme concentration and the enzyme velocity they are directly proportional to each other here you can see in this graph that as the enzyme concentration increases enzyme velocity is also increases now why as the concentration of enzyme increases why the enzyme velocity or rate of reaction increases so as i told you formation of enzyme substrate complex is one of the important part here now here see the picture in this picture you can see here on the table gems are kept consider these gems are the substrate and the children are the enzyme and their hands are the active site so as number of children are increasing that means number of active sites are increasing so they can grab more and more substrate and more and more enzyme substrate complex can be formed so which ultimately increases the rate of reaction so as the concentration of enzyme increases enzyme substrate complex increases and rate of reaction also increases now another factor is substrate concentration now you can see here first see this graph here at x axis concentration of substrate is taken and at y axis here rate of reaction is taken now initially here you can see these red spots these are the substrate and this c shape these are the enzymes so initially their uh, substrate concentration is low but here substrate concentration is increased and again at this end substrate con concentration is further increased so when we go from here to here substrate concentration is increasing but you can see rate of reaction is not continuously increasing here at the lower concentration of substrate rate of reaction is increasing again it becomes curved and then it becomes stagnant so we can say that if we plot a graph between substrate concentration and velocity of reaction we get rectangular hyperbola and this rectangular hyperbola is divided into three main distinct part at lower concentration substrate at lower substrate concentration rate of reaction it is directly increasing then we get a curve part and at as further substrate concentration increases it has no effect on the rate of reaction or it remains almost unchanged why this is happening because 
here as I told you rate of reaction depends on enzyme substrate complex formation when substrate concentration is low easily they can form enzyme substrate complex so rate of reaction is comparatively low but here when substrate concentration increases almost all enzymes are utilized to form enzyme substrate complex and rate of reaction is further increased but if substrate concentration is further increased it has no effect because the quantity of enzyme is same so it cannot form enzyme substrate concentration uh, complexes and there is no change in the rate of reaction it is almost constant still if we increase the substrate concentration it has no effect because enzymes are limited so as the substrate concentration increases initially rate of reaction increases but at certain limit when enzymes are saturated then the rate of reaction will become stagnant this effect of substrate concentration we will discuss in detail that means what do you mean by km here what do you mean by vmax uh, half vmax vmax in enzyme kinetics and km value we will discuss it in later now the next factor is effect of temperature we know that almost all chemical reactions increase uh, rate of reaction increases with the increase in the heat or temperature because the reaction when reactant get converted into product they need to cross the transition state and for that transition state they need some activation energy when temperature is increased that temperature is utilized to increase the activation energy and initially the rate of reaction increase so but in case of enzyme it you can see that when temperature is plotted against enzyme velocity you see these effects that little activity is observed at lower temperature that means if temperature is low then activity of enzyme is also low as the temperature increases the activity of the enzyme also increases and it reaches to the maximum value at particular in uh, temperature the temperature at which the activity is of enzyme is highest that temperature is called as optimum temperature and in most of the enzyme the optimum temperature in human it is 37 degree and you can see if the temperature is further increase then enzyme they loses their activity and rate of reaction decreases because when enzymes are exposed to temperature above 50 degree centigrade denaturation or dearrangement in the native tertiary structure of the protein and active sites are seen majority of the enzymes become inactive at higher temperature above 70 degree centigrade so we can say that the optimum temperature for most of the enzyme is between 40 to 45 degree centigrade however a few enzymes example venom phosphokinase muscle adenylate kinase these are active even at 100 degree centigrade but for most of the en uh, enzymes the optimum temperature is between 37 to 40 degree centigrade now the next factor is effect of ph so see here how the ph this is the lower ph and this is the higher ph and this is the neutral lower ph means acidic and higher ph means basic increase in the hydrogen ion concentration considerably influence the enzyme activity and here also we can see at lower pH activity of um, enzyme is low but it increases at certain pH 
and the pH at which the activity is highest is called as optimum pH. If pH is further increased, the activity of enzyme is decreased and like temperature here also we are getting bell shaped curve. Each enzyme has optimum pH where the velocity is maximum. Below and above this pH, the enzyme activity is much lower and at extreme pH, enzyme becomes totally inactive. Most of the enzyme of higher organism show optical activity around neutral pH that is 6 to 8. But there are however many exceptions like pepsin which is more active or its optimum pH is 1 to 2 that is highly acidic condition. Acid phosphatase, this enzyme, its optimum activity is at pH 4 to 5 while alkaline phosphatase, this enzyme is active at the basic pH that is 10 to 11. So, this is the effect of pH. Now, some more factors are there. Now, effect of concentration of product on the enzyme activity. Before that, again I am revising that how the enzyme activity occur. This is the enzyme. It combines with substrate. Substrate attack on the active site of the enzyme and there is a formation of enzyme substrate complex. Finally, enzyme become free and there is a formation of product. Now, it is observed that in most of the reaction, there is no effect of concentration of product on enzyme activity. Once this product is formed, enzyme become free and again it can start its reaction. Again, it can act as a catalyst and reaction is continued. But in some reactions like isomerization and rearrangement re reaction, sometimes what happened? As the concentration of product increase, this product attack on the, again attack on the active sites. These are the active sites of the enzyme and they block the active site of the enzyme. And as they block the active site of the enzyme, enzyme is not free and they inhibit or decrease the activity of enzyme. So, sometimes in some reaction as the concentration of product increases, rate of reaction decreases. Another factor is effect of activator. Some of the enzyme require certain inorganic metallic cations like Mg2+, Mn2+, Zn2+, Ca2+, etc. for their optimum activity. Rarely anion are also needed for enzyme activity. Exi example, chloride ion is required for amylase. Now, these metal, they function as an activator for enzyme velocity and such enzymes are called as metalloenzymes. The enzymes which require metals for their activity, those are called as metalloenzyme. One more factor is also observed which affect the enzyme uh, activity here I have not mentioned it that is the effect of light and radiation. The seventh factor exposure of enzyme to ultraviolet, beta, gamma and x-rays inactivates certain enzymes due to the formation of peroxides. Example UV rays inhibit salivary amylase activity. So, radiations and light also affect the enzyme activity. So, these are the factors we saw that as the enzyme concentration increases, rate of reaction continuously increases because number of active sites increases. Second factor, as the substrate concentration increases, initially rate of reaction increases, then it becomes curved and then the graph becomes constant. So, we are getting a hyperbola in the substrate concentration. When the temperature and pH, the effect of temperature and pH, we get bell shaped graph. 
and the enzyme activity is highest at optimum temperature and optimum pH. Each and enzyme, every enzyme has their own optimum temperature and optimum pH value. Then effect of concentration of product just now we saw that in some cases it affects uh, as the concentration of product increases these product blocks the active sites and they decreases the rate of reaction. While some enzyme they require activators like metal cations to activate their reactions while the last factor is light and radiation generally inactivates enzyme activity. So, these are the factors. Thank you so much.